Hey there. Welcome back to Very Good Yoga with Billy. My name is Billy, and for today's practice, all you're going to need is two blocks and one strap. Um, if you don't have two blocks, you could always use a stack of books, maybe a water bottle or a shoe. Uh, for a strap, you could use a belt, you could use um, a dishcloth, uh, whatever is clever for today. Let's get started. Um, let's find a virasana. So sitting on a block the long way in between your shit. And if sitting on one block is a little too much too soon on your knees, take your second block or book and stack them on top of one another. So your knees are together. And when you look outside of your hips, you should be able to see the soles of your feet. Close your eyes and allow your hands to rest down in your lap. Palms are facing down if you are looking to create um, more of a grounding sensation. And if you're looking to receive energy with this first shape, turn your palms up. And then begin to drop into the breath. Keeping the mouth sealed, inhaling and exhaling in and out of the nose. And it doesn't have to be that really deep ujjayi breath right away, but something a little bit more deliberate, something a little bit more intentional. So take these first few moments to class to ground and arrive. And press the tops of the feet into the floor. And when you do that, you might start to get a little lighter through your seat. And to continue to get tall through the spine, root your sits bones down into the bricks and lift. Get long through the neck, tips of the ears, reach up into the ceiling. Bring your hands to a prayer position at your heart and begin to flutter your eyes open. Interlace your hands, stretch your palms forward, stretch your palms up so the biceps are alongside the ears. And continue to find that sensation where you press down into the feet to reach the arms up higher. Take another full breath in. Exhale, left hand to the floor. Right arm reaches to the left side of your room. You stay where you are. I'm going to move just so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So the left hand is on something and the right arm is reaching overhead. Notice if you got light through your right butt when you do this and try to put a little bit more weight so you have equal weight distribution between your two butts. Maybe this is where you stay, but if you want a little bit more, feel free to walk the left hand a little more off to the side and bend into the left elbow. So hopefully you're feeling this between the right shoulder and the right hip. Inhale, come back through center, reach both arms up into the ceiling. Exhale, arms are by your sides. Bring your hands to prayer at the heart, interlace your hands, but do the opposite webbing so this grip should feel a little weird. Stretch your palms forward, stretch the palms up and bring the biceps alongside your ears. If you're a little tighter in the shoulders, your arms might be actually a little in front of the ears. And if you know you're tighter in the shoulders, do that so you can keep a better rib position. Inhale, reach the palms up higher. Right hand to the floor, left arm up and overhead. So the left bicep is by the ear. Press evenly between your two sits bones. So most likely put a little bit more weight into the left. And maybe you stay here, but if this was interesting before, walk your right hand a little bit more to the side and maybe play with bending and potentially pulsing the right elbow. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, arms by your sides. And before we come into downward facing dog, what I'll have you do is make sure that you have a brick somewhere near the top of the mat and then a brick somewhere near the back of the mat. Downward facing dog. Plant your palms, tuck your toes, and lift the hips up high. Press the floor away with your hands. 
And if there's any extra fidgeting you would like to do with this first downward facing dog, maybe you bend to the knees, reaching your heels to the floor. And eventually look forward. And then let's take a stroll and make our way into a forward fold at the very top of the mat. So your feet are either um, together or hip width distance apart. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Reach the arms up high. See the palms touch. Bring your hands to prayer at the heart. Tadasana, arms are by your sides. Inhale, reach the arms up. Press the feet down. Forward fold is the out breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the left foot back and find an active runner's lunge. Try to hug the feet towards one another. Straighten out the left leg more and reach the heart and the chest forward. Keep that work and reach the right arm out to the side. So that would be your three o'clock. Simple twist, reach the right arm up into the ceiling, turning the left rib cage towards the inner right thigh. If you need to modify this, lower the back knee down. Otherwise, most likely you could lift the inner left hip up and hug the outer right hip in. Inhale the top arm forward. Exhale, right hand down. Three-legged dog, lift the right leg up and back. Flex with the right foot, turn out your toes, and on an inhale, bend the knee to open up your hip. Outer left hip is in, and the outer left heel is reaching to the floor. Straighten out the right leg, square off the hips, take a full breath in. Exhale, knee in between the elbows. Step your right foot forward, walk your hands to the left, make a pit stop and straddle pose, and then keep walking your hands to the left. So your inner runner's lunge facing the original back of the mat. Lower the back right knee down. Anjane Asana, low lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. If this ever bothers your back right knee to keep it on the floor, either roll up some part of your mat or grab a cloth or a pillow to support the right knee. Pull the left heel towards the back right knee to get the left hamstring and the left leg involved. Inhale the arms up higher. Forward fold is your exhale. Step your right foot up to meet your left foot. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Reach the arms up high. See the palms touch. Hands to prayer at your heart. Tadasana, arms are by your sides. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Forward fold is the out breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right foot back, active runner's lunge. Keep your hands on the floor. Squeeze the feet together and reach your heart forward. Reach the left arm out to the side. So again, this is your nine o'clock. Simple twist, turn your chest towards the inside of the left leg. So when you twist, you're twisting with your ribs and your chest and you're not just flinging the left arm behind you. The left hand, fingers, arm, those are the last things that should get into this position. Inhale the left arm forward. Exhale, left hand down. Three-legged dog, lift the left leg up and back. Flex through the left foot, turn out your toes on an inhale, bend the knee and open up your hip. Outer right hip in, outer right heel down. So when you do that, the right kneecap points straight to the floor. Straighten out the lifted left leg, square off your hips, take an inhale. Exhale, knee in between the elbows. Step your left foot forwards, walk your hands to the right, make a pit stop and straddle pose, and then keep walking your hands to the right so you're facing the original front of the mat. Low lunge. Lower the back knee down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Pull the right heel towards the back left knee to not only get the right leg working, but using that right heel 
almost like a hamstring curl to bend to the front knee more. Inhale the arms up. Forward fold is the exhale. Step your back foot up to meet your front foot. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Reach the arms up high. See the palms touch. Hands to prayer at the heart. Sadasana, arms are by your sides. Inhale, reach the arms up. Feet press down to reach the arms up even higher. And then could you keep that lift as you bow forward, trying to lift the belly away from your hip bones. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step the left foot back. Low lunge, lower the back, left knee down. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Right hand, left wrist, exhale. Side body bend to the right side of your room. Now what I'm gonna ask with this side body bend is could you actually round a little bit more in the upper back? And then pull on the left wrist more. So your torso starts to turn to the right and slightly down into the floor. Inhale, hook the left elbow, prayer twist is the exhale. Press your palms together and reach the heart forward. Option to stay here, but if you'd like a little bit more, tuck the back left toes and without lifting your butt, lift the left knee off the floor. Pull the belly in and continue to reach the tips of the ears forward. So you're essentially doing the work of cobra and even up dog with your heart. Inhale. Runner's lunge to three-legged dog is the exhale. Lift the right leg up and back. Flex with the right foot. Turn out your toes. Inhale, bend the knee to open up your hip. Exhale, right knee in between the elbows, but keep your right knee lifted. Twice more like that. Three-legged dog, take a full breath in. Exhale, knee in between the elbows. Three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, knee in between the elbows. Step your right foot forward, walk your hands to the left, make a pit stop and straddle pose, and then keep walking your hands to the back of the mat so you're in a runner's lunge. The left foot is in front of you and the right leg is behind you. Squeeze the feet towards one another, and then keep this really strong foundation as you reach the arms out, reach the arms forward. The biceps are by your ears. So you're essentially um, in Urdhva Hastasana with the arms and the belly, but that active runner's lunge in your feet and legs. High crescent lunge. Inhale, come up to stand. Exhale, step up. Bring the right knee into the belly, so only standing on your left leg. Stand up a little taller. Inhale. Tadasana is the exhale. Right foot is down. Arms are by your sides. Inhale, reach the arms up. Forward fold is the exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right foot back. Low lunge, right knee is down. <laughs> Inhale, the arms up high. Exhale, left hand, right wrist. Side body bend towards the left side of the room. Pull the belly in. And start to actually round a little bit in the upper back. So your torso is facing slightly down and you're going a little to the left. Inhale, hook the right elbow. Prayer twist is the out breath. Press your palms together. And again, do that work of a flat back. Do that work of back bend as you reach the tips of the ears forward. Tuck the back right toes. And if you did this before, lift the right knee up. Your gaze is either straight ahead of you to the left side of your room or up into the ceiling. So when you twist, twist with your ribs, your chest, but not your face. Inhale, runner's lunge to three-legged dog as the exhale, lift the left leg up and back. Flex to the left foot, turn out your toes. Inhale, bend the left knee and open up your hip. Exhale, knee in between the elbows, keep the left knee lifted. Twice more, three-legged dog, take an inhale. Exhale, knee in between the elbows. Last one, inhale to three. Exhale, knee in between the elbows. 
Step your left foot forward, walk through, straddle over to the right to a runner's lunge facing the front of your room. Right foot is in front of you, left leg is behind you. Squeeze your feet together. Reach your arms out, reach your arms forward and hover the belly off the front right thigh. You are reaching out of your ring fingers and hugging the right hip in. High crescent lunge, inhale, come up. Exhale, step up. Left knee is into the belly. Right foot is pressing down. Inhale, get taller. Tadasana, left foot down, arms are by your sides. One sunny for real. Inhale, reach the arms up. Forward fold is the exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step the right foot, step the left foot. Plank pose is your inhale. Chaturanga is the exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, come into your back bend, upward facing dog. Biceps are forward, thigh bones are lifted. Use your belly and come into your downward facing dog. Five breaths. Straighten out the arms more and press down into the palms, the thumbs, and the index fingers. Inhale. And on empty, look forward. Bend the knees and make your way to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to stand. Reach the arms up high. See the palms touch, hands to prayer at your heart. Tadasana, arms are by your sides. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Forward fold is the out breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the left foot, step the right foot. Plank pose is your inhale. Chaturanga is the exhale. Inhale to back bend, upward face. Exhale is downward facing dog. Settling here and breathe for three, for two. Full breath in. On empty, look forward, bend the knees and make your way to a forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend into the knees and lift your heart and chest up. Keep the weight in the heels. Press your feet down and bend into the knees all at once. Look forward. Bring your hands to prayer at the heart. Come up to stand to dasana. Arms are by your sides. Surya B. Inhale, chair pose. Forward fold is the out breath. Inhale, flat back. Prepares you for chaturanga. Exhale, chaturanga. Lower halfway. Inhale, come into your back bend. Upward facing dog. Exhale is your downward facing dog. Ground your left heel down. Step your right foot forwards. Warrior one. Inhale, come up to stand. Exhale, chaturanga. Lower halfway. Inhale, come into your back bend. Upward facing dog. Exhale is your downward facing dog. Right heel grounds down. Left foot steps forward. Warrior one. Inhale, come up. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, come into your back bend, upward facing dog. Exhale is your downward facing dog. Please come back into your breath. Most likely, you'll have a soft bend into your knees. And what if I asked you to roll the inner thighs back, but hug the feet in? Inhale, empty, look forward, bend the knees, make your way to a forward fold. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend into the knees, heart and chest will lift. Look forward, bring your hands to prayer at the heart, and prayer twist over to the right. So the left elbow is connected outside of the right thigh. 
and your palms are pressing together and your right shoulder is leaning back. Lengthen the spine forward, but wrap the outer left hip back. Stay in this twisting chair and please pluck the left foot off the floor. So you're going to be like a twisting flamingo on the right leg. And then how slowly could you step the left foot to the back of your mat? So now you're in a twisting high lunge. Press the left elbow into the outer right leg and the outer right leg into the left elbow. If you ever want to modify this, folks, feel free to lower the back left knee down. Inhale. Runner's lunge is the exhale. Frame the front right foot. And then you could go fast, you could go slow, but hop switch your left foot forward and the right foot back and lift the left leg up into a three-legged dog. So the left leg is lifted and the right foot is at the back of your mat. Flex through the lifted left leg, bend the knee and open up your hip. And then you could stay here, but if you would like to flip your dog, bring the right shoulder over the right wrist before the left foot touches the floor. Roll your right bicep forward and press the left foot down to lift your hips up higher. Take a full breath in. Exhale, left hand down. Step your left foot forward. Straddle pose. Walk your hands to the right. And we're actually going to hold this straddle pose. Walk the middle of your hand so it lines up with the middle of your feet. Do the work of chaturanga in your arms so the elbows are bending. And then in an effort to sneak a back bend into this fold, draw the shoulder blades away from the ears, but reach the crown of the head to the floor. Inhale, flat back. Hands on your hips. Exhale, come all the way up to stand. And open to warrior two at the back of the mat. So your right knee is bending, your left toes are turning in, and the index fingers reach away from one another. Remember what we did in our low lunge. To bend into the front knee more, pull the right heel back. Inhale, reverse. Extended side angle, right hand outside of the right foot, Top left arm reaches forward. If you want to modify here, folks, either put a block underneath your right hand or forearm is on your thigh. Press down through the outer edge of the back left foot and keep leaning the left shoulder back. This is a twist. And I want you to turn your chest up into the ceiling. Inhale. Runner's lunge is the exhale. Frame the front right foot, flip up the back left heel, and come into Veer Vajrasana C. Float the back left leg off the floor, and for today's Warrior Three, bring your hands to a prayer position at your heart. Lift the left leg up higher, and flex through the left foot like you could leave a footprint on the back wall. Grab a block, and place it underneath your left hand, the highest height. Reach your right arm out to the side, so what would be your three o'clock? And revolve your half moon pose. Press the left hand down to lift across the chest. Carve the right hip back and reach the tips of the ears forward. Imagine you could do a headstand on the front wall. Inhale. Forward fold is the exhale. Step your left foot down to meet your right foot. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga. Or maybe you skip it. Please make your way back to downward facing dog. So without doing anything funny in the pelvis, lift your hips up high and find length in your spine. Inhale, on empty, look forward, bend the knees, make your way to a forward fold. 
Inhale, flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend into your knee. Look forward. Hands to prayer at the heart. Twist to the left. Right elbow connects outside of the left thigh and the palms are pressing together. Tips of the ears are lengthening forward. Outer right hip is lengthening back. Stay in the twist and please pluck your right foot off of the floor. How slowly can you step the right foot to the back of the mat coming into your twisting high lunge? My cat just jumped up on the coffee table. So there's a good chance he might walk in front of my camera. So I apologize in advance if he does. Press the right elbow into the outer left leg and the left leg into the right elbow. Inhale, runner's lunge, frame the front left foot, flip up the back right heel, and then faster, slow. Hop, switch your right foot forward and your left foot back. So it's like you're doing one mountain climber. Three-legged dog, lift the right leg up. Flex with the right foot, turn out your toes, bend the knee and open up your hip. And maybe this is where you stay, but if you'd like to flip, roll forward, left shoulder over the left wrist first before the right foot touches the floor. Press the right foot down, lift your hips up higher, inhale, exhale, right hand down, step your right foot forward to your right thumb, and please meet me back in your straddle pose to the left. Walk your hands in line with your feet and bend into your elbows. Your feet are pressing down. The crown of the head is reaching to the floor and the shoulders are drawing away from the ear. Of course, please don't forget to breathe. Or you might pass out. <laughs> Inhale, flat back. Hands on your hips, exhale, come up to stand and open to warrior two at the front of the mat. So the real front of the mat, the left toes turn forwards, the left knee is bending and your index fingers are reaching away from one another. Your shoulders are over your hips and your chest and ribs are turning towards the right side of the room. You could look over your left hand or you could look straight ahead. I prefer straight ahead because it gives me a more neutral neck in, in relation with like the rest of my spine and my torso. Inhale, reverse. Left hand outside of your left foot. Utita Parso Kanasana, extended side angle. Reach the right arm forward. So it's like you're trying to get the right hand as far away from your back foot as possible. But at the same time, press down to the outer edge of the back right foot. So it's almost like you're trying to get your right foot away from your right hand. Inhale. Runner's lunge is the exhale. Frame the left foot, flip up the back right heel, and let's send it. Warrior three. Float the right leg off the floor. And for your warrior threes today, keep your hands a prayer at the heart. Even if conventionally speaking, you like to do something else here. Hands are at prayer at the heart. And the left, or excuse me, the right toes are turning to the floor. Grab your block. And place at the highest height underneath your right hand. Reach the left arm out to the side to what would be your nine o'clock. And revolve your half moon. So even here, you're setting up your twist from the ground up. So your left hand and fingers are the last thing to go. Press your right hand down to lift the left hand up higher. Inhale. Forward fold is the out breath. Step your right foot down to meet your left foot. And then option to take a bakas and a crow pose here. Bring your big toes together to touch. Plant your palms and bring the knees and the backs of your triceps. Look forward. Lean forward, press your palms down into your yoga mat like you could actually move the floor underneath you and pull the belly in and squeeze the elbows together. And then maybe land 
Chaturanga. Vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Into a child's pose. Drop your knees either together or hips width distance apart and take breath. If you want, you could stay seated on your shins with the eyes closed. Find your breath. And just notice the quality of your inhales and your exhales. back into our breath to help us reground into our practice. For five. Four, for three, for two, before we make our way back to downward facing dog on one, make sure that you have your strap or whatever it is you're using for a strap today and make sure it is to the true left side of your mat. Downward facing dog, plant your palms, tuck your toes and lift the hips up and back. I know um, front, back, left, and right can get a little tricky sometimes when we're turning around as much as we are today. But if you're facing the true front of your mat, the strap should be to the middle of the true left side of the mat. Take a full breath in. And on empty, look forward, bend the knees, and make your way into your forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale to fold. Ukatasana, inhale, chair pose. Look forwards and bring your left leg into eagle. And the left arm underneath the right arm for full expression, Garudasana. Keep the weight in the right heel like you would do in chair pose and bend into your standing leg. Lift your eagle arms up and forwards. And try to draw the left thigh bone back so both of your hips are squared with the front of the room. Two more breaths. Bring the left knee into the belly and keep your eagle arms. Warrior three with eagle arms, eagle arms forward. But this being said, if warrior three is already a tough shape for you to do, I'd recommend modifying with warrior three itself or maybe take a supported expression. Kick your left heel back and reach your eagle arms forward. And just focus on the, doing those two things over and over and over again. Left heel back, eagle arms forward. Inhale. Step the left foot back. Come into an upright pyramid pose. Exhale. And reach your arms out left and right to a T. Extending at the wrist and reaching out of your palms. Reverse your namaste. Bring your hands to a prayer position right behind the heart. And if you cannot keep your palms together, either give yourself a fist bump or grab the opposite elbows. Look down at your feet before we fold. And make sure there's about three feet between your two feet on the floor. Hinge at your hips and begin to bow. Keep a long, slightly arched spine. And to emphasize that more, lift your elbows up to the ceiling, but your biceps to the floor. And if you think this would feel good on your throat and your neck, reach your chin towards the right big toe. And if that doesn't feel good, that didn't agree with your practice, allow your head and neck just to hang. And press into the right big toe. And try to put weight into the full right foot, so not just the back heel. Inhale, flat back, hands on the floor, pyramid pose, fold over the right leg. Runner's lunge, re bend into the front right knee, and then either fast or slow, hop switch your left foot forward, your right foot back, 
and sweep the left leg up into a three-legged dog. Flex through the left foot, turn out your toes, bend the left knee, and open up your hip. An option to stay here, but if you'd like to take a bird dog down dog, slowly begin to walk your right hand back. And I think it helps to keep your gaze um, right in the middle of your mat. So when you hover the right hand off the floor and reach the right arm up and along the uh, side of the body, we find a more stable shape. If it's available to you, grab the left foot, left shin with your right hand. Left hand's pressing down for five, four, three, for two, put your right hand down, step your left foot forwards, warrior two, come up to stand. Inhale, reverse your triangle pose. Straighten out the front left leg and reach the left arm up into the ceiling. Turn your left toes in. Keep your upper body as it is as you turn your right toes towards the back of the mat. Extended side angle, Utita Parsva Konasana. Right hand outside of the right foot. Inhale. Runners lunge as the exhale. Pause here. So, setting up for a prayer twist. Place your right hand on top of your right thigh. Hook the left elbow outside of the right leg and start by bringing your palms together to touch. Some of you might stay here, but if you would like to set up for a full bound twisting lunge, grab a strap, place it in your right hand, and drape it over the lower back. Keep in mind, folks, you might not need the strap. The left arm will weave up and underneath the front left leg, so essentially holding hands with yourself at your inner left hip. And you could just hold on to your clothing. If you don't have this hand-to-hand, -hand, hand to strap connection. If you have the find, I'll ask that you try to keep it as we set up for a full bound revolved half moon. If you don't have the bind, I'd recommend just doing a regular revolved half moon. And if this isn't working, just do the regular revolved half moon. Find a point on the floor to focus the drishti on as you begin to shorten your stance. Keep the weight in the middle of your right foot and slowly begin to lift the left foot off the floor. Inhale. You are out of there. Forward fold is the exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, vinyasa, rinse it out, and please meet me in a downward facing dog. Five breath. Hugging the outer arms in. And it's almost like you're trying to roll your elbow pits forward, but your armpits in to face your face. Inhale. Here we go, last side on the empty. Make your way to a forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Last one. Inhale, chair pose. Bend into the knees. Lift the heart and the chest up. Look forwards. Wrap your right leg over the left. And the right arm underneath the left arm. Garudasana, eagle pose. Weight is in the left heel. Left leg is essentially in chair pose. Right thigh bone back. Eagle arms are up and forwards. Keep the arms and please bring the right knee into the belly and into your chest. Keep the arms and find this variation of warrior three. Reaching the eagle arms forward and the right heel back. And again, we're just going to do those two things over and over and over again here. Eagle arms forward, right heel is back. Inhale. Step the right foot back. Find an upright pyramid pose as you exhale. And then reach your arms out left and right to a T. Pressing out through your palms. Reverse your prayer, reverse your namaste.
stay. So palms come together right behind the heart. And if you haven't already, shorten your stance. And if you modified before, most likely we're going to modify again here. Hinge at your hips. And this is a very slow fold. And we do that so we can emphasize keeping a good position in your torso. And if you feel like you lose that arc, that, you know, really long spine, lift the elbows up and lower the biceps down. And if this felt good on the throat before, reach your chin towards your left big toe and press down to the left big toe. So we get the weight in the front of the foot and the back of the foot. Inhale, flat back. Hands on the floor, pyramid pose is the exhale. Runner's lunge, we bend at the front left knee and then faster, slow. Hop switch your right foot forward, your left foot back. Three-legged dog, lift the right leg up high. Flex through the foot, turn out the toes, bend the right knee and open up your hip. And then maybe this is where you stay. But if you went for that bird dog before, slowly walk your left hand in. Lift the left arm up and alongside your body and try to grab a hold of the right foot with the opposite left hand. Your gaze is fixed on something that's not moving. Your right hand is pressing down, almost like a side plank. For five, four, three. For two, put your left hand down, step your right foot forwards, or your two, come up to stand. Inhale, reverse your triangle pose. Keep the torso upright and as is, but turn your right toes in and up the mat. Turn your left toes towards the back of the mat. Otita Parsvokanasana, left hand on the floor, outside of the front left foot. Inhale. Runner's lunge is the exhale. Flip up the back right heel and pause. To come into your prayer twist. Place the left hand on top of the left thigh and hook the right elbow outside of the leg. Eventually bring your palms together to touch. You could stay here, but if you found the bind or even a half bind on the first side, drape the left arm over the lower back. Reach the right arm up and underneath the front left thigh, holding hands with yourself, your strap, or maybe your clothing. And then if you did this before, sitting up for our full bound or no bound revolved half moon. Look down at the floor and begin to shorten your stance. So when we set this up, we're very gradually putting weight into the left foot. Just because if we do it all at once, there's a good chance it's not going to work out so well. Inhale, forward fold is the exhale. Set the right foot down to meet your left foot. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, vinyasa. Meet me back in your downward facing dog. And then go ahead and drop your knees and stand up on your shins. So we're just gonna do two back bends here today. Um, setting up for a camel pose. Turn and point your toes to point behind you and place your hands on your lower back. Your fingers could be up or down, but what I would like you to do while we're here is press your toenails down and squeeze the elbows together and just lift out of the belly. Do that again. Press your toenails down, squeeze your elbows together and lift out of the belly. So to set up for this back bend, I want you to get as high as you can through your chest and your torso to the point where you just naturally begin to go back and you're not sitting on your lower back. And if it's appropriate and if you want more, walk your hands down your butt, your hamstrings, and if they're available to you, grab onto your heels at the same time. 
Feet are pressing down. And then it's almost like there's a strap attached to your upper arms that you're trying to pull apart to get broad across your chest. Inhale, stand up on your shins. Exhale, sit down on your heels. Lower your chin to your chest and close your eyes. We're going to do one more. Stand up on your shins and place the hands in the lower back. And I want you to set that up in um, a similar way that you set up the first one. Building this back bend from the ground up. Feet are pressing down to lift out of the waist. Elbows are hugging in to get broad across the chest. And then when you can't go up any amount more, that's when you start to lean back. If you do want more, Walk your hands down your butt, your hamstrings. If you think it'll be a good idea, grab onto your heels. Inhale, stand up on your shin. Exhale, sit down on your heels. Close your eyes and lower your chin to your collarbone once more. Blink your eyes open. Move through tabletop and then please lift your hips back into downward facing dog so that we can neutralize the spine. Coming into a Gomukhasana. To get there today, please bring your right knee forward right to the middle of the mat. So the right foot should be a little off the mat to your left. And then bring the lefty behind the right knee. So your left foot is now off the mat as well. Sit down on your bum. And you stay where you are. I'm actually going to move so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So my right knee is over my left knee. And most likely when you get into this shape, you're going to have to fidget a little bit. If you want more, try to bring your shins and your feet forward a little bit more parallel with the front of the room. And if this is not working today, straighten out the bottom left leg. The other cat got in the middle of the shot. <laughs> um, please walk your hands forward and fold. So again, if you didn't catch that, um, if you're modifying, the bottom leg is straight out in front of you. If you ever want to take a figure four or another hip opener that I'm not offering you, make this practice your own. I feel like um, Gomukhasana is always a really tough hip opener for the majority of people to get into. No judgment, no attachment, just notice what comes up and how we respond to this hip opener in the shape. <laughs> Take about five more really easy rounds of breath here. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, come up into your seat. Place your hands behind you, the legs out in front of you, and gently shake the backs of the thighs out onto the floor. Second side, uh, come back into downward facing dog, facing the top of your mat. And bring your left knee to the middle of the mat, and your left foot a little to the right, so you're going to be off the mat. Bring the right knee right behind the left knee and angle the right foot so it's to the left of your mat. Walk your hands back. Find your seat with the left knee over the right. And if you modified on the first side, most likely you'll modify again here on the second. Walk your hands forward and fold. Unless one side is a lot more open than the other and I just don't know it. 
So for me, I always think this is a really um, interesting hip opener in ways that double pigeon and pigeon for me just don't apply. Just because with this Google cost and this shape, my two sides are always so different. And just notice what comes up for you here. And then we'll take about maybe five more rounds of breath. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, come up into your seat. Place your hands behind you, extend the legs out in front of you, and shake the backs of the thighs out to the floor. And then we'll set up for a seated straddle pose. Um, if you have the space, you can stay at the top of the mat, but if you don't, just turn to the right, facing your monitor, and pull your toes in towards your face. Place your hands behind you for a moment, just so you can get the weight right in the middle of your sits bones. And then with this long spine, please walk your hands forward and fold. So yes, we are in um, a shape that I would consider fairly passive. But at the same time, I want you to continue to try to do um, some degree of work here. So we maintain stability in the fold. Your head and neck is heavy. And if you lost it, come back into your breath. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, come up into your seat. Bring your legs together. If you move, turn to face the true front of the mat, and let's make our way onto our backs and begin to make our way into Shavasana. Of course, if there's anything I've not offered you here today that your practice isn't complete without, take these last few moments of class for yourself. your eyes. Root yourself down back onto the floor. Take one more full breath in. Open up the mouth. Audible exhale is released. One more work. One more effort. Shavasana.
start to by some smaller movements back into the body. Wiggle the fingers, and the toes, the hands, and eventually the feet. And on your next inhale, find a full body stretch. Arms are overhead, feet to the front, almost like you just woke up for the second time today. Mm, hug your knees into the belly and into your chest. Mm, keeping the eyes closed. And using as little effort as possible, please make your way up into a comfortable seat. Facing your monitor. To seal in our practice, please bring your hands to a prayer position at your heart. Guiding the thumb knuckles up and into your sternum, please invite a full breath in. Open up the mouth, exhale to release. Thumb knuckles to third eye center. Mm, thank you for sharing your practices with me today. Go in peace. Namaste. Mm, thank you, yogis. Uh, that is it for today. But if you folks have any questions, if you have comments, uh, if you have concerns or even feedback, uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't yet, please hit subscribe. Um, and that's it for today, you guys. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Drink lots of water and I hope to see you soon. Thanks, guys.